Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Life with Liz. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Turn on your post notifications. That way you'll be notified every time your girl posts a new video. Good morning, guys. All the kids are off to school. And I'm on my way to pick up my parents to take my mom to her physical therapy appointment. It's Cody. <laughs> it's cold. Gabby was not in the mood this morning to go to school. She did not want to go. <laughs> oh, it's cold. But in the end, she was good and she ended up, obviously she ended up going. But she, she had a good morning and then all of a sudden she just didn't want to go to school. And then towards the end after talking to her, she was, she was good. She got on the bus, she was happy. So at my mom's physical therapy appointment today, they're gonna evaluate her again. And because this is the last session, um, they're gonna evaluate her and see where she's at and whether they recommend more physical therapy, which I'm hoping that they do. Uh, I'm hoping that they do because I feel like it's been helping her and I feel like she's not quite there yet. Let me put this, let me set this up here. I feel like she's not quite there yet. So maybe a few more sessions. And then I don't know if I told you guys, but um, my dad is also gonna need like a rehabilitation. So I'll be taking him to those appointments. So I'm gonna need to make appointments for my mom and then appointments for my dad. that I'm able to be with them and take them and, you know, <clears throat> make them feel comfortable. Um, because I do all of the translating and uh, Ubering <laughs> for them, so. <laughs> and I'm, I'm happy, I'm happy to do it. I forgot about my nails, that I had did, done my nails last night, uh, just getting them started. And this morning, man, these these suckers are super sharp. And I think I did them a little long. But, I don't know. Maybe I'll shorten them. Maybe I won't. I don't know. We'll see. And I know my mom's going to tell me right when she sees me, ah, oh, your nails again. <laughs> but I brought my coffee. I'm on my way. And if I don't see you at my mom's house, then I'll see you at her appointment. Stay tuned. Okay, so we are here at my mom's physical therapy appointment. And what they do, they're starting off with warming up her foot. And then they go ahead and get her going on her exercises. So we'll be here for a little bit. I think today they're going to evaluate her. So we'll see. We'll see how long we're here. Three hours later. Hey guys, so I am back home. Uh, Gabby should be getting here in just a little bit. Um, I was really busy. I was making phone calls, uh, filling prescriptions, just a lot of phone calls. Uh, you know, going and picking up my aunt's mail, nothing. That, I mean, I guess I could have logged me picking up my uh, aunt's mail, but other than that, it, I was busy with um, phone calls, filling my dad's pillbox, getting prescriptions done. Um, calling the doctor, doing all of that stuff. So um, I am back home now. Uh, while we were while we were at my mom's therapy appointment, though, um, they called us for my dad's appointment. So he does have an appointment tomorrow morning. So the people from the pacemaker are going to be there. So I don't know what to expect, uh, but we'll see how it goes for my dad in the morning. I like I said, I. I don't know what to expect. Never had anything like this happen. So 
we'll see we'll see what the appointment is like tomorrow morning i don't know if they're going to be taking the patch off because he does have his patch and it's um it's taped like really secure and they're the ones that are going to take everything off so <sighs> We'll see how that goes for me. But I'm gonna go ahead and get started on dinner. So let me show you guys what I'm doing. Uh, I'm gonna be making some uh, chicken tacos. And so I do have uh, three chicken breasts in here that uh, I, I trimmed and cut into some smaller pieces. I'm gonna add some chicken bouillon And then I'm going to add garlic and a piece of onion. I'm going to set this and while this is cooking, I'm going to go ahead and get uh, some rice going. And what else? Oh, and then I'll get the sauce going for, uh, for the, the chicken. I'll show you guys how I do that. So... A piece of uh, piece of chicken a piece of onion I'm gonna go ahead and get this started on the pressure cooker so I'll be back all right so I like I said I'm gonna be making some rice so I'm gonna I have one tomato here that I'm throwing into my blender I'm gonna make the sauce for my rice I'm gonna put a garlic clove in there uh, and some onion I think that should be good. So I'm going to put some water in this and uh, blend this up. I'll be back. All right, guys. So I do have uh, tomatillos, jalapenos, and some serranos here. Uh, and I'm going to put, I have my, my pan here that I am going to toast my tomatillos on. And then over here, let me put a liner into my air fryer, a fresh liner. Sorry about that. All right, I'm gonna put all of my chiles. I have two big jalapenos and five serranos. So I'm gonna go ahead and get those going so those can start roasting. And then I'm going to go ahead and get started on my rice. Okay, so I do have my um, pot here and I have a little bit of oil in there. So I'm going to add, this is about a cup and a half of rice. So I'm going to add that in there. And then all I'm going to do is brown my rice. And then add in the tomato sauce that I made. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then I'll be back and show you. Um, I'll just keep mixing this rice until it browns. And then I'll come back and show you what it looks like when it's, when it's done. Alright guys. So <clears throat> I'm still working on the rice. But... Um, I need to check on these bad boys so I'm gonna go ahead and turn these guys over and that's what I'm wanting this little chard the charring to them that's that's what we want and just I, I and I'm pointing it at myself instead of the thing uh, I need to start looking at the camera so this chard look is what we want and uh, this gives it such a good a good flavor um and i try to leave them as much as i can in there um to slow cook um that way they're, they're completely cooked you know when i'm ready to use them um just like i'm roasting the uh jalapenos i'm roasting the tomatillos the jalapenos and the serranos i'm roasting the the tomatillos all right and then you guys have not tried these I highly recommend these are delicious and I I am cracking one open today <laughs> sorry mom <laughs> all 
All right, <clears throat> so while I'm waiting for, uh, <coughs> excuse me, for some of this stuff to be done, I'm gonna go ahead and um, get my stuff going for my salsa. So I'm gonna add onion, garlic, let me go grab my chiles. All right, so I added a little bit of, a little bit of water to that and I'm gonna pull the chilies out. They've, they're already nice and roasted, as you can tell. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this stuff blended up. So I'm gonna add um, I'm gonna add salt to this and go ahead and get it blended up. All right, so it looks like our rice is ready. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the tomato sauce to that. And then um, the chicken broth is still not ready, so I did start to boil some water. So I'm just gonna add some hot water in here to get that going. That should be enough. And then I'm gonna add some chicken bouillon to it as well. And then mix that all in there. Give it a quick taste test. Mm, looks good. So now I'm just going to cover it and let it do its thing. All right, guys, so the tomatillos are done. That is what they're looking like. So I'm going to go ahead and get those into my blender. Those are in the blender and then what I also do is all of the juice and everything that was released by the tomatillos I add that in as well so then I'm just gonna add um, I'm gonna add some cilantro to this get it blended up taste it for salt and it should be ready all right, so salsa is done. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in my jar here. Oops. All right. Just gonna give it a, a taste test and it's May need just a little bit of salt. I'm gonna go ahead and add that in. our salsa all right guys so while we wait for some of this stuff to be done I did go ahead and put some beans on just to warm up some beans uh, as well I'm gonna go ahead and make the sauce for the chicken uh, so I'm adding garlic and onion 
and then I have a couple of tomatoes washed here I have two I'm just gonna cut those up into smaller pieces and then I'm also gonna add tomato sauce to this one can of tomato sauce get some water in here all right probably about one can of water for the tomato sauce all right so I'm gonna add salt and pepper to this and get this blended up and then I'm gonna start cutting up the bell pepper and onions all right guys so the sauce is done one other thing that i added i added a little bit of cilantro in there i still had a little bit left over from what had i had cut up uh for the salsa so i went ahead and added it in here all right and so now what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna get some onion slices All right, so we have onion. I'll go ahead and throw that in this bowl here. And then uh, I'll start cutting up the bell pepper. And we're just gonna slice this as well. All right, so I just went ahead and cleaned this up really quick, and now I can go ahead and just slice it. So now let me go ahead and get started on getting these sauteed. 
All right, guys. Well, I'm waiting for some of this stuff. I, I'm, before I do the sauce for the chicken, I want to go ahead and get my tortillas going. So I am going to put in two cups of maseca into my mixing bowl. about that much of salt and oh, where's my kettle oh there it is for now I'm gonna add I do have hot water here I'm gonna add about a cup to get this going and then I'll add more as we go but I'm gonna go ahead and get that uh, needed all right guys, so I do have my pot here. I have a little bit of oil in there already. And um, I'll get a spoon here. Uh, maybe this. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and saute um, the bell peppers and onions. I'm just gonna let that warm up. All right, I'm hoping that that's warm. I'm gonna go ahead and throw these in. And I'm just gonna saute these for two or three minutes. But I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic powder to that. So just going to add a little garlic powder. And I'm going to go ahead and get that mixed up, sauteed, so I can add the um, tomato sauce that I had made earlier. So let me go ahead and get that sauteed, and I'll be back. All right. So now that we have our veggie sauteed, I'm gonna go ahead and add the tomato sauce in there. And I'm not gonna thin it out um, just yet. I'm gonna use some of the broth to thin it out, but I want it to cook because I did use some um, raw tomatoes in here. So I want this to cook down a little bit. So that's what it looks like. It'll thin out a little more once I add a little bit of the of the broth in there. But I'm gonna let that go for a minute and I'll be back. All right guys, so this is what the sauce is looking like. It's pretty much done. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, add my chicken that I already have shredded here. So. I needed two hands for this. All right, so I'm going to add all my chicken in and then just give it a mix. And I'm going to let that go for just a little bit just to get the chicken, the, the tomato sauce um, incorporated with the chicken. So this is going to be the filling for our tacos. Alright guys, so uh, I did go in, went ahead and pressed a tortilla. So now I have oil in this uh, little pot. So I'm going to go ahead and drop my tortilla in there. And I'm going to go ahead and let that puff up. As you can see that it did. So now all I'm going to do is put the spatula in the middle. I'm not even vlogging it. 
Uh, put the spatula in the middle and let that cook up so that it can make a taco. I'm just going to get this cooked all the way through. I went to the store earlier and I was going to do a little bit of uh, guacamole for these as well, but all the avocados were hard, so no, no guacamole for these today. All right, and then you have a puffy taco. So I'm going to finish doing these and I'll show you what the finished product looks like. All right, guys. So I went ahead and served these guys their their tacos. This You're is what they look that. like. <laughs> Gabby's arguing with Art. <laughs> She's telling him she wants to fight him. But this is what She's the tacos. beat up. This is what the tacos looking like. How is it, Miss Gabby? Mm -hmm. Okay. How is it? We want it, mommy. Art didn't want lettuce, but that shit is really good. Really good. <laughs> Those are my famous words right there. The homemade tortillas has no comparison to when you deep fry those store bought ones or whatever. Yeah. All right. So. Super soft, crunchy on the outside. They're good. Awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, guys. So I served myself a plate, and there's. Uh, you can't. Let me see. Let me get out of the way. Maybe that way it'll zoom in on it. There it goes. Mm. So that's what my plate is looking mm. like. How do you like the beans? Mm -hmm. Yummy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Tacos are fire. Mm -hmm. They're so good. Mm. I told you. I mean, I made them like this before. I just haven't did the puffy shell. I thought I'd give you guys a, something different. I like it. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like the taco has ass in it. <laughs> what? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Puffy taco, you know what I mean? taco got ass on it. You're so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we're going to finish eating. We'll be back. Hey guys, so I... I forgot to vlog me doing my nails. Um, I'm just finishing them up now. I do have... I got these little hearts from Amazon. So they're different color hearts. Uh, there we go it's still not real there we go so the different colored little hearts and what I did is I put down the base coat and then added added the hearts onto uh, the ring finger and the index finger and then I put a little glitter on this finger I'm gonna do a little more glitter on it and then put a top coat I am gonna encapsulate these uh, the ones with the hearts with um, some acrylic so I'm gonna finish that up right now but this is what they're looking like done I'm going to go ahead and finish these up and then I'll show these to you guys as soon as I'm done. So that concludes today's video. Make sure to comment, like, share, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching guys. Till next time.